My enthusiasm for food started very, very early, probably earlier than I, I really realised when I think about it now, uh, but it was, it was at a very early age. Allergies is something that I had since as long as I can remember basically and it got gradually worse and worse. That was very difficult because um, in my teens I was, um, I really wanted to, uh, you know, uh, become a chef. I gradually had to realise that I couldn't do it because it, it just wasn't feasible. So instead I, I studied law. At one point I had gradually put on weight in my, my 30s and then I tried a high fat diet. The effect was astonishing very immediately and the eczema that I have had since I had had since I was a kid basically disappeared in three or four months. So it disappeared and, and gradually I was it was popping up in my head that I should follow through with what I always wanted to do, namely cook for a living. And I couldn't get rid of this idea in my head. And then one day I decided, okay, let's, let's go for it. Um, we're a quite small restaurant, um, and um, it's a restaurant run with a lot of passion, where we're trying to serve, or I'm trying to serve food that I like to eat. And um, we're trying to please our returning customers. We have, uh, we started about three and a half years ago and we've evolved uh, quite a bit. We're trying to work with uh, exceptional produce because I like doing that and try to use uh, original flavour combinations, original techniques. Sometimes they may look very simple but they're actually very complex. Sometimes they are complex and look complex too. But there are no rules, there are no taboos or, or anything other than that we want to have exceptional produce all the time. Uh, I wanted to see how good a chef I could become. When I opened this restaurant, I'd never worked in a professional kitchen, had any sort of training or whatever. I had obviously done a lot of home cooking, if you so wish. I thought that the location, being a little bit outside central London, would, would uh, benefit me because it would leave me alone from, uh, from all the critics. But um, it turned out that I was very wrong about that. Uh, we had Faye Mashler in after maybe two weeks and then everyone else followed. Um, so there was pressure was on immediately and I had to learn to cope with, with having a full restaurant. So at that point I didn't really have any goals that I was going to get a star or I was going to get this or that. It, it was just what I wanted to do was I wanted to cook and I wanted to see how, how good a cook I could become. Well, in the beginning there wasn't really much of a food style um, and especially not after we got very busy because then it was just about making sure you get food out to everyone. So gradually we learned that and um, that success also made me be able to um, you know, get better and we would, we would more and more serve the food that I had in my head. Of, you know, that I wanted to serve. We're still, we're still very much in a, a, an evolving restaurant.